Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley and thank you so much for allowing me to join you on your journey today. So in today's Pick a Card reading, we are going to be diving into what kind of abundance is coming your way. But before we get into it, don't forget to click like and subscribe to join our tribe. I post spiritual and tarot content all the time, so click subscribe to join our tribe. I also have a Patreon where it starts at five bucks a month and you get exclusive content that I will not be offering on any other of my social media platforms. So go ahead and click the link in the description box below to subscribe to my Patreon. And also there is a link to my Instagram. It's free to follow me there, so give me a follow. But yes, let's get into these piles now. So this pile here is pile number one with a rainbow opalite. Pile number two with a dragon stone. I actually just got this guy. Thank you, sister, for buying me this. <laughs> and then our last one, pile three here, with astrophilite, okay? All right, and just real quick, I wanted to say, I'm testing, I, I moved, I'm testing different spots and lighting, so if my videos are not looking as good as they usually do, I'm sorry, I'm figuring shit out. But anyways, I will see you in your piles or in your readings. Hello, Pile One. Welcome to your reading. So let me explain real fast what I got for you. These cards here I chose before I started recording. This is going to represent uh, the abundance coming your way. I also have this Native Spirit card here and our Oracle deck. And what this is going to do is essentially give us more insight on your abundance or show us what other kinds of abundance is coming. I have some runes here to also, I, I like to use runes for abundance readings. They just kind of work out well. And then I have my tarot cards here just to get any other random messages that spirit may be wanting to communicate to you or get more details about these blessings and abundances, okay? So let's get started here with you. So first card up, we have choices. Make the best choices. We have knowledge, seek knowledge. And we have letting go, learn to let go. Okay, so immediately right off the bat for you guys, I feel like some of y'all are thinking about getting a higher education or getting some type of certification in something, do it. I think you should do it. I think you might have tried this before in the past and it did not work out well for you, but I'm telling you right now, this, the energy is right. The energy, it's, it's now time to go for it. This is the time to do it. So I, I, if you're thinking about going back to school or getting a certification in something, you're just not sure, definitely do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Another thing I think that's coming into your life in abundance is I'm, I'm feeling like mainly this is more mental for you. I feel like you're learning about, you're learning from the choices you've made in the past. And it doesn't necessarily, like when we hear that term, we often think of something negative, like, oh, I have to learn from my mistakes. But I just feel like right now, you're like kind of looking at everything that you've done in your life. And you're like, wow, it all has led me to here. And you're learning about that. And what the, what's happening, what you're currently doing right now, is you're transmuting that into wisdom. You're taking your experiences and learning from them, receiving the knowledge from them. And it's really helping you release wounds, release traumas that have happened to you. So that's very wonderful, pile number one. I also feel like one thing is that you feel like you never get to choose. I feel like some of you guys, once again, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest behind. But I feel like some of you guys, you just, you always feel like you have to do what others want you to do. And it's not like, it's not like you're, you're trying to people please, but it's just like you, you're always, you're, okay, this is what I'm saying. You're a useful person. You have a lot of insight and a lot of knowledge about a lot of different things. So a lot of people want to use you in a sense. That's how you're seeing it. It's like they're, they're wanting to use you. But the reality of the situation is that you just know a lot about a lot of things. You know a lot. So I feel like finally, you're gonna start being able to feel like you're more in control and you have choices, you have options. Some of you guys, you might have been manifesting for a long time and you're like, damn, like nothing I have manifested is coming. Well, Spirit's saying with this choice card, there's about to be a bunch of different roads opening up for you. They're all meant for you. So no, you're not gonna make the wrong decision. 
but you're finally gonna have options. You're finally gonna be able to choose what you want to do with your life or be able to choose, let's say you want a career in performing. Maybe you wanna be a performer. Well, you're gonna have a lot of different options to choose from. Like, I feel like you're just gonna have a lot of different choices. I also feel like, like I said, for all of you watching, I feel like there's definitely this transmuting of wisdom happening for you. Like you're, you're learning and gaining a lot of knowledge. I feel like for everyone, it's in different areas. Some of you guys are learning more about the corrupt shit that happens in the government. Some of y'all are learning more about spiritualism or just any topic, how to cook. So I just feel like right now you are a sponge and you are absorbing everything. I feel like another abundance or lesson coming your way is that you're you're letting go. Like, I feel like some of you guys are consciously aware. Like, yes, I'm letting go. I've been working on myself. This is something I want. Others of you, I feel like you're subconsciously letting go and entering a new phase of your life. So I just feel like, I feel like you need to keep doing what you're doing, if that makes sense. Keep doing what you're doing. All right, let's get in with this native spirit here. What are more messages you have for pile number one? Thank you so much for these beautiful messages you've been sharing with us. I almost said receiving. They're not receiving. We are receiving right now. But I also, you know, Spirit said elaborate more on that. Some of y'all have trouble receiving. Some of you all are very strong people. And it's not that you feel weak when you receive, but it's just like, I could do this on my own. I don't need help. And it's not even like a headstrong, like I don't need help with nothing. It's more so just like, you are really good at everything. You can do everything on your own. But I feel like there's gonna be a lot of help coming in for you guys, because there's a lot of people on these cards. Like in this mystical wisdom deck, there's, there's, there's cards that don't have a lot of people on them, but you got cards with a fuck ton of people on them. So I feel like there's a lot of help coming. I don't know. Anyways, let's see here. What are more messages you have for pile number one? Let's see what's there. Three more cards, please. Pile number one. What are more messages? What is the abundance? Okay, thank you. So we have jumping out spirit of fire. So yeah, you guys are gonna have this huge like. You are feeling like the energies around you are real slow right now nothing's really happening it's because they're fucking preparing you for some crazy shit crazy good shit like i smile when i say that it's nothing you should be afraid of it's just like everything's gonna really fall into place fast as hell okay i feel like this card too so we have nature spirits we have walking in beauty And we have answering the call. Oh yeah, you guys are being prepared right now. And I'm, it's so funny, that card didn't even jump out, but I just felt like I needed to share it with you guys. So this is what I'm seeing. In the near future for you guys, I'm seeing your soul being ignited, finding a passion. Some of you guys who are going to go to school, this, whatever you're gonna be learning, is gonna ignite your soul. Even for those of you who it's nothing to do with schooling or higher education, higher learning, none of that. It's like, there's just this awakening in your soul of like, I have purpose. I know what I'm doing. I'm going for it. Know you have a lot of guidance and rely on mother nature because you, you have a lot of nature spirits helping you. Not only that, but what I find interesting is this is nature spirits and then walking in beauty. So if you look here, it's probably the opposite way. Here we go. There's like this tunnel. This is you right now. You're walking through this tunnel. And then on the other side is this. Look, there's the archway. So even though the tunnels are not connected, you're like, I see you like going through different dimensions and you end up here and you walk and it's beautiful. I feel like you're really close to the end of this tunnel. And when you get to the end of the tunnel, boom, you're answering the call. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Your soul feels filled. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. I don't know. They just want me to keep saying that. You're finally doing it. Okay. So let me get some rooms here. I'm going to pull two. This guy. And this one. All right, here are your two runes. And I'm going to read about them right now to you. My trusty book of shadows. Let's see here. 
here we are. So we have Isa, danger, deadlock, entrapment, contraction, closed off to change, frigidity, frozen in unhealthy state of mind. And we have, um, here we are. I'm sorry if I say this wrong. Hagalaz, obstruction, delay or cancellation of plans, temporary disruption, change or difficulty, a hostile environment. All right. So some of y'all are like, what the fuck? This is the opposite of what you're saying. No, no, no. This is how I'm seeing it. These rooms represent your energy right now. Your energy right now is you feel stuck. You feel like nothing's happening for you. You feel like, like what's going on, okay? But this is your future. This is your near future. Once again, tarot does not predict the future. It gives us messages about the future. So... This is just showing the, the energy change, the difference. You're, this is you right now, this is you in the future. So don't, don't, I don't feel scared by this at all. This is how spirit is showing it to me. It's like, this is your energy right now. And I'm sorry if you hear anything, my dog is outside my door. Anyways, let's keep it moving here. Oh, this card, literally as I'm picking up my cards, this card falls out, five of wands reversed. Yeah, spirit's saying, don't worry, this is not, this, this, these rooms are not, I feel like some of you guys are really worried about these rooms for some reason. They're saying, don't worry, there's no struggle, there's no fighting. It literally represents your energy right now, okay? So let's get some final messages here. What abundance is coming that way? Any other random messages you want to have come through? Ah, ah. Yeah, I feel really good. I feel really good about the reading. There's nothing to worry about. Oh, okay. Some of you guys might be watching my videos consistently. Oh my God, again, this card came out and it came out with this, look. This restrictive period and this period of your life where you're fighting for everything, that's leaving. That's leaving your life. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys watch a lot. Like I feel like there's a couple people who watch my readings every single one I post because I always feel like I say, you have nothing to worry about. I feel like there's some of y'all who like, you know this, but then you keep watching to make sure there's nothing to worry about. I promise there's nothing to worry about. Everything's working out best case scenario, all right? So let's see here, what's going on? Okay, we have the hanged man, yeah. You're leaving the phase of your life. You're leaving all of this confusing energy behind. We have the hermit. Yeah, it's time to come out of your shell. It's time to step out of your comfort zone. It's time to do things. It's time to shine your light, okay? You have the wisdom. You have the knowledge. Now it's time to go. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles reverse. There's The waiting period is, is going to end very soon. And for those of you who, like, you have this goal or this dream and you're waiting for the, the right time, the right time is now. The right time is whenever you feel like you need to start. If you really want to start, but you're waiting for the right time, do it now. Start now. Now is the time for you. Oh, okay. All right. Not going to take that many, but I'll take this. We have the Five of Swords and the King of uh, Pentacles reversed. Yeah. I feel like you guys go in between like, yes, I'm free. And oh my God, nothing's working for me. I feel like you go in between those energies. So your spirit guides are asking you to pick one. Either you are stuck and trapped or you are free and off and like doing your best life. Spirit saying pick one. Because right now, that's why you feel like some days things are happening for you and other days you're not. It's because your energy is like this. They're saying pick. Either you truly believe nothing is happening for you or you truly believe everything is happening for you. You gotta pick. You can't keep wavering with doubt because that's really messing up the flow. If that makes sense. So we have the world reversed. Yeah, you guys. We have the strength card and um, the page of wands. So what this is telling me your spirit guides are trying to end a cycle in your life. They're trying to end a struggling period. They're saying, you, we don't want you to have to feel like you have to be strong all the time, because you don't. But they're trying to give you this new, exciting beginning. But you waver way too much. You teeter-totter. They say, we need you to be naively optimistic. 
we need you to truly, even if your outside environment does not look like it's gonna happen for you, be optimistic. If you truly believe it will happen for you, then guess what? It'll happen for you. But I, the, the cards are really showing me that you guys teeter-totter and you overthink. So it's really important for you to stay positive. Final messages, final messages. Queen of Swords reversed, Knight of Wands, and the Three of Cups. So what these cards are saying to me, what these cards are saying is, hold on, I'm trying to do it. Okay, here we go. What these cards are telling me is, the minute you stop overthinking, is the minute your dreams are gonna take off and good shit's gonna happen. I feel like some of you all watched my tarot video last week because I feel like I said this again, but get out of your head, okay? You might be working on it. Spirit says keep working on it, but you need to be naively optimistic because I, I promise you, the minute you get out of your head, all of this success is gonna come running in. And this is Juan's energy, this is soul, this is fire, this is passion. You literally have spirit of fire here. like. Get out of your head, get out of your head. Success is here. Get out of your head, okay? All right, pile one, that concludes your reading. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out my Patreon and my Instagram and click like and subscribe to join the tribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Hello, pile two, welcome to your reading. So before we get into it, let me explain what I got for you guys, okay? So this, these cards here, it's the Mystical Wisdom deck. I This is gonna show what your abundance is, what your blessings are. Then I have my Native Spirit Oracle here. This is gonna either show us more blessings you're receiving or more details about the blessings and abundance. I got my runes here, because whenever I do abundance readings, I just love runes. They, they, they get it, you know, I don't know. <laughs> and then I have my standard tarot deck here to get more details about the blessings or random messages that Spirit's trying to communicate to you, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So we have, first one out is Dove, Take a Leap of Faith. Beautiful card, I love that card so much. We have Gratitude, Be Grateful for All You Have. I love this deck, by the way. This deck is phenomenal. If you're thinking about getting a new Oracle deck and you don't have the Mystical Wisdom, girl, it is amazing. We have Owl, Follow Your Intuition. So you got a lot of cards. We have children. Know that your children are protected. And the last card out, we have dolphin. Don't worry, be happy. So immediately what is jumping out to me, you have a lot of animals. You have a lot of animals on these cards. Dove, owl, there's a tiger on this card, and then dolphin. So I feel like some of you guys the way your spirit guides communicate to you is through animals, especially birds, because you have two bird cards here, dove and owl. So know that if you are like, oh, that caught my attention, but it's not a sign. That's, nothing is a sign. That's a sign. I feel like your spirit guides are really using animals, whether it's an emoji or you're watching a documentary or a TV show, you're on Instagram, you see a picture of this animal. They're communicating to you with animals. Know that for sure. But... You have a lot of shit going on. I feel like something in your life that you wanted to work out but didn't in the past, it's returning. And it's returning in a way that I think you're not expecting. The obvious one I wanna state is the children card here. Those of you with children, they're gonna make the right choices. Some of you guys might have teenagers or young children know that they're making the right choices. Some of you guys might even have children that are adults and you're worried about them, know that they are making the right choices, okay? Don't worry about that. For others of you, I feel like one of your blessings, the abundance, is that you're going to really get into tune with your inner child, with that side of you. You're gonna be more childlike. And I feel like, I feel like, okay, so far these readings have been more mental than physical abundance. What I'm seeing is like, you're finally just doing what you wanna do and you're grateful. Like, okay, how do I explain this? I feel like 
you have been trusting your intuition. You're like, you know what? I'm spiritual or I'm new to this shit. Everyone's talking about trusting your intuition. Let me just do that. And through trusting your intuition, it's actually led you to be very grateful. And I feel like there's this idea or plan you have that you're, you really want to do. You're like, I feel like spirit supports me, but I feel like at the same time, it's kind of like, maybe not going to work out. Spirit says, take that leap of faith, girl. It may not work exactly as you're expecting, but I feel like it is going to work out in a really good way. Like, what, okay, so what spirit just showed me in my head is like, you know, when you have an aerial view of like a river and they have like many different like routes or like think of a neuron in a brain, how it's all like different spaces and stuff. I, I hope that's making sense. But that's what they're showing me and it's like you're gonna finally have all these different routes you can take and I feel like okay so let's say you're trying to manifest a small business let's say you want to be a small business owner so this is your idea but I feel like you see how my hand that like branches out I feel like there's many different ways that this can happen for you and they're all good they're all positive they're all meant for you so spirit's saying like take that leap of faith the spirit saying you know this is gonna work out if you truly are feeling like you need to start this project or you've been on this journey, you know it's gonna work out for you. Don't worry. Dolphins represent happiness and they're very spiritual creatures. They, um, for those of you who are into star seeds, they were Lumerians and Pleiadians. Some believe that they, that dolphins are Lumerian people. So that coming out is saying like, girl, relax. Like everything's gonna work out. Everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, I just feel like there's pretty similar messages across all the readings so far. I did one so far, right? But I just, I feel that way. So let's see what more is coming through. I also feel like if you want to manifest physical abundance, I feel like some of you guys are trying to manifest 3D realm abundance, not just mentally for you. Be grateful. And I'm not saying you're an ungrateful person, but I'm saying keep up the gratitude. Spirit is saying by you being grateful, it's bringing all of this good shit to you. So keep going, okay? So let's see what else we got going on. Oh, for you. What more messages do you have for pile number two? What abundance is coming your way? More messages about their abundance, please, and thank you. Uh, and I just want to say this because it came into my head. For some of you, you're going to be on this journey. Uh, you're going to take this leap of faith. And there's going to be a moment where you need to use your better judgment, your intuition. Trust it. If you're going to sign a contract, but something feels... It's like, it's like this is your dream. This is exactly what you want. And you have to sign a contract, but something feels wrong. And like there's no physical reason why it should feel wrong. But just internally, you're like, something is weird about this. Don't sign the contract. Don't know why I'm getting that message, but I am. If it feels off, don't do it. Don't do it. Because even though it's like your dream situation, if it feels wrong, that means something better is coming. All right. Read the fine details. Read the fine details. All right. Let's see here. What messages are coming? What is the abundance coming from power number two? What is the abundance coming from power number two, please? Okay. The spirit of water. So that's something I'm seeing in your cards a lot is water. Water represents your intuition. Water is spiritual. Water is um, healing. So, oh, okay, yep, look at that flowing river. And did they talk about something about a river earlier? We have a lot of, let me get more cards before I say something. Storyteller. Peace pipe. Give me one more card, please. Can I have one more card? One more card, please, and thank you. Oh, okay, there we go. Gather your tribe. So I feel like some of you guys are gonna be starting a family. I don't know why, I just get that message. Some of you guys are wanting to start a family with a particular romantic partner. I'd say go for it. Gathering your tribe, this card represents a very, like your soul family. 
and I feel like starting a family with this person is gonna be like your soul family. Like this is, if you're thinking about it and it feels right, go for it, okay? But for others of you, you, have a lot, you might have a lot of water in your astrology chart or you're just really connected with water. There's so much water, like just, <laughs> just everywhere in your reading, there's a lot of water. So what that's telling me, spirit, there, there is something that's gonna happen where you really need to trust your intuition. I don't, I'm getting this in my head, I'm seeing a contract, but for it could be anything for anyone. Um, there's something you need to trust your gut on. I feel like there's a test coming up for you where it's going to, there, it's, the universe is gonna give you exactly what you're looking for, but it feels wrong to you. It's gonna feel wrong and you're gonna doubt yourself. You're like, why do I feel wrong about this? This is exactly what I want. If you feel wrong about it, it's not exactly what you want. Trust your gut, trust your intuition. Spirit is really, your spirit guides are really asking me to emphasize this to everyone watching, okay? Trust your gut. If it feels wrong, don't do it. Because I'm telling you what, you have this peace pipe here. If you trust your gut, it's gonna bring something way better. Okay, for some of you guys, this might be a friend group or someone you're dating, you're suspicious of them. Something is like making you feel, I keep touching here. So maybe something to do with your heart chakra. Something is wrong, something is off, something is not what it seems, and you know it, but the physical outside circumstance does not reflect that. But you know for some reason it's wrong. Trust your gut, please trust your intuition. Your intuition is on point. Do not, do not doubt that. I promise you guys it's for the better. Others of you though, this abundance is, it's, it's, it's like, okay, this is what spirit's wanting me to say to y'all. Your abundance is a heightened in your spiritual abilities. So for some of y'all, your intuition is being boosted. Your others of you, your psychic ability is being boosted. Others of you, your fire. Oh, I just okay. I just pulled out the um. This is this uh ring I have on is supposed to represent the chakras. I just pulled out the stone for the sacral chakra. So some of y'all might need to work on your sacral chakra. Which, I guarantee you, one of y'all are watching from my last tarot reading. If you know, you know. Keep working on that sacral chakra. But for others of you, that is a place of... How do I explain this? What are you trying to say, Spirit? Your sacral chakra relates to this. Spirit's not showing me how, but your sacral chakra relates to this situation or that your abundance. So please work on your sacral chakra. But I feel like there's gonna be a moment for you to finally speak your truth, to finally step out of your shell, to finally get what you want. So go for it. If it feels right, this is what Spirit wants me to say to you before we go on to roots. If it feels right, go for it. If it does not feel right, don't go for it. Period, okay? So let's see what rooms we got coming for you. Definitely feel like this is a more spiritual blessing type of situation. All right, here we have this guy. Okay, so let me get my trusty dusty book of shadows here. Look up these names. So we have first one up. Sorry if I pronounce these wrong. I am not Nordic. Here we are. Now these hardship, a necessary or necessity, a need or necessity limitation. Being bound or constrained, an owed, an owed debt, guilt restrictions, and then we have Fehu, abundance, wealth, prosperity, collective ancestral luck, reputation is one's greatest commodity. Beware of material excess over the greater good. Okay, so this, I was wondering this, so I'm glad Spirit said something. This this rune here is talking about that thing I was telling you about with your intuition. You know, if it feels wrong, don't go for it. But Fahu here is confirming, like there's there is physical abundance coming for you guys. But I what the what spirit is showing me right now is what needs to be told, which is your intuition. I really feel like um, your spiritual gifts are awakening more. I feel like you've noticed. Um, but yeah, keep your crown chakra open. They're, they keep showing me like your the sacral chakra. 
I don't know why. They're not telling me why they're showing me. They just keep showing me an image of like myself, but in third person with my sacral chakra like glowing. So I feel like some of you guys may be either getting an upgrade to your sacral chakra, you've been working on your sacral chakra. Spirit's not really showing me, okay? But something to do with your sacral chakra. Anyways, let's get into the tarot, see what other little closing messages we got for you. some more details and I want to let you know sometimes when spirit is vague it's because it's it's a collective message but it plays out differently in everyone's life so I like to try to get um, as specific as possible but sometimes when spirit does that it's like it's this message is for everyone but it plays out differently in everyone's life so that's why it's, it's vague. because what trusting your intuition for some of you is that contract other people it's Realizing your friends are stabbing you in the back or something like that, you know? All right, let's see. Final messages here from pile number two. Final messages, please. Pile number two. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands. We have the World. celebrate and get what you deserve what I'm gonna say to you guys pile number two is be skeptical be a little bit more discerning with something I really feel like something's gonna come in it's gonna seem like something you want it's gonna seem like your manifestation but there's gonna be a detail that is off and you feel it you're like I I, I feel like I'm repeating myself but I, spirits really want to get to stress this to you it's like it's like you have this opportunity like I have this opportunity why does it feel like I shouldn't do it I've been manifesting this for so long why does it feel like it's not right because it's not right it's not right for you it's not right this is a test from the universe okay this here tells me that you got the three of cups with the judgment when I asked spirit what is this about they gave me the judgment card this is a test this is to see are you going to settle or are you going to keep going until you get exactly what you want? Because let me tell you something, Pile 2. You are strong, magical, mystical beings. You can create anything you want. Do not settle. Do not settle for something that is almost what you want, but not really. No. Do not settle because Spirit's really showing me if you don't settle, which once again, this is a general reading. So please, if it feels, if it internally feels right for you, do it. But if there's some kind of like, I don't know about this. Don't do it, okay? Let me get one more message for you, then we'll close out the video here. One more final message from pile number two. Final message here. Okay, yep, they're really confirming this. Three of Wands reversed. 
it's gonna feel like you're still waiting, but it, it's it's not. It's, this is this. Okay, how they're showing it to me is it's just a test. Like they they just want to see. And when you pass up this opportunity, you're gonna feel like, man, I missed out, but you didn't. Remember that. Remember you didn't miss out. Remember there's something better coming for you. Okay. So spirit's asking you to change your perspective on the situation. Okay. Well, pile two, that concludes your reading. I hope you enjoy. It's kind of a, a strange abundance reading, but this is the message that came through, so I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to check out my Patreon and my Instagram linked in the description box below. And also, don't forget to click like and subscribe to join our tribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. Hello, pile three. Welcome to your reading. So before we get into it, I just want to explain what I got here for you, okay? So we have... Sorry, I had to swallow like really hard. I'm sorry. Uh, we have the mystical wisdom here to show what your abundance and blessings are. Then I have my native spirit deck here to show more abundance or blessings or just a little bit more detail about it. I got some runes because whenever I do abundance readings, when I use runes, they're always spot on. And then I have my standard tarot deck here to get detailed details about these blessings or random messages that spirit's been trying to communicate to you, okay? So let's get started. So first one out, we have, let's see how many cards we have. One, two, three, four, okay. We have seven heavenly virtues, keys to goodness. Wow, pile three, you are very good people. Ooh, enlightenment, pursue spiritual growth. Oh yeah, you guys are light workers, are star seeds, my goodness. We have angel of miracles, open your heart and expect a miracle. Wow, I already get these messages coming through, all right? Competition, some courage and self-confidence. And lastly, we have moving forward. Get ready for positive change, pile three. The abundance coming your way, you deserve it. You have been putting in the work. I see that. I know this card says pursue spiritual growth, but what, the, what Spirit is showing me is saying you've been pursuing spiritual growth. You've been trying to become a better person. You have been opening your heart. You have been becoming more courageous and self-confident. And because you are in that energy, you're moving forward. You're, these blessings, okay. So I feel like you've been manifesting this. I feel like all three piles, you have been, they've been manifesting something. And finally, for you guys, this is everything you've been wanting more. You have been putting in the work. You've been working very hard. You've been working through some shit and pile free. You deserve these blessings. I feel like a lot of spiritual enlightenment is coming your way. I feel like you, I feel like you guys watching are light workers or star seeds, whether you know that or not. I feel like most of you know that you're a light worker or a star seed or even possibly an earth angel. I'm getting that energy from you guys. Just very loving, caring, compassionate people. I feel like some of you guys are gonna become spiritual leaders. And I don't think you're gonna be like religious leaders, but I just feel like you're gonna be a beacon for others people, like other people in your life that are starting to become more spiritual and they need guidance. I feel like you're gonna be that person. And I feel like you're excited about that. Um, a lot of you guys, I feel like have transformed from follower to leader. I feel like now you are the leader and you're happy about that. I feel like something you've been manifesting is finally gonna come. I feel, okay, so for you guys, I feel like there is some kind of financial gain happening here. And it's because you're sharing your gifts and abilities. Know that you deserve that money. If you have someone, I remember I had someone um, DM me for a personal reading on Instagram. And I said, sure. I sent them a list to my, of my services that I provide. And they go, oh, I have to pay? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, surely tarot reading is not a party trick. Surely that if you were truly spiritual, you wouldn't be charging me for this. Okay. So let me ask you this. When you uh, have an electrician come to your house, because they're good at fixing electricity, you don't have to pay them, right? Or, you know, it's, it's just, it's like, of course, this is a service. This takes, after I do these readings and record, I'm exhausted. I am tired. This is me expending a gift. This is me sharing an ability I have. And I gladly will take tips. I gladly will take money for this because I'm sharing something that I know is useful to people. You know, 
don't feel guilty. If people try to make you feel guilty for taking money, for sharing your spiritual abilities, fuck those people. Fuck those people. That's like people who go to a restaurant and don't tip the server. The server didn't cook your food, but they took care of you, you know? Like, don't let, don't let people make you feel bad for taking money, for sharing an ability of any kind. You know, it's like if, it's like if someone who paints, you know, they paint because it's a passion, but they also sell it on the side. And someone's like, oh, well, if this is just a passion project, you wouldn't pay, make people pay for it. Bitch, yes, the fuck I am. Like, just just have that, that mindset of like, I am sharing a gift. I am doing something that other people can't do, maybe. I'm gonna charge, As, and this is the thing, it's like, like this, what you're watching right now is free content. But if you wanted a personal reading from me, it would cost money. Because here, I'm sharing my gift for free, but also if you want a little bit more detail, it's gonna cost money. So I just feel like there's gonna be this moment of time where you need to be strong and stand your ground. I am gonna charge money for this because I am doing something that I want to pursue as a career and you can't share your spiritualism as a career if you can't make money off it. I don't know, I, Spirit's showing me this message for some reason to share with y'all. I think you're understanding and getting it. And something funny, I just went down. I turned my tarot deck upside down and it's the four of cups upright. So Spirit's saying don't, don't, if, if, if we're giving you money, don't say you don't want it. You do want it, <laughs> okay? I don't know why I'm getting that money or that um, message in my head. There is a financial gain. I feel like there's a long-term career being built for you. Just keep your heart open and tell the haters to fuck off, okay? <laughs> you are sharing a gift. You do deserve to get paid for that, whatever it is. If your gift is creating bracelets, you deserve to get paid for that. If your gift is reading tarot cards, you deserve to get paid for that. If your gift is helping people decipher their astrological charts. You deserve money for that, okay? Let's see, let's see more details though. But know that you guys are highly connected. Something Spirit just pointed out to me is look, look at her crown here, a bunch of rainbows coming out. And then this moving forward card, her crown is lit up. So because you have tapped into the spiritualism, it's really gonna help you move forward. It's re you're, you're ready, you're ready. Yeah. For some of you, I just heard this in my head. If you've been thinking about starting a YouTube channel, do it. Share your gift online. I'll tell you something. People appreciate tarot readings online. You're here, right? You appreciate it. That means others will too. All right, this card wants to come out. Ah, you guys got just... I can't even speak. You guys got such a good card. Oh my God, okay. You guys deserve this. You guys have worked so hard for this. Oh my gosh. You guys have worked so fucking hard for this. All right. I feel like I gotta read this card to you to show you how fucking good this card is. Hold on. I gotta read this to you real fast. I'm sorry if you don't like tarot readers reading from the book, but I, I just gotta share with you how good this is. Hold on. Southwest. Where's East? Here it is. Okay, card meaning. New beginnings, a fresh cycle is occurring in your life. Wipe the slate clean. It's now time to release the old and start again. No matter what happened in the past, it doesn't need to repeat in the future. And not only that, this card for me represents tons of abundance, tons. Anytime I've gotten this card in my own readings, there's a ton of abundance, like monetary. I just feel like there's some kind of monetary gain. That's like a career for you guys, I don't know. They're just showing me that. And it's like, you couldn't do it before, but now you can because you're confident, you're strong. You know your abilities are special. Yeah, I feel like, I think all three card, or all three de piles have got this card, Storyteller. It's time for you to share. It's time for you to speak your truth. You know, it's time for you to claim ownership of your path. Yes, we got Freedom Horse. This is something that this career, this money coming into you, you sharing your spiritual abilities or your talent, whatever that is, it's going to bring so much freedom into your life. So much abundance. Oh my gosh. Okay. We have the medicine bag. Yep. You're going through um, a transition right now. So right now the universe is really weeding out all that does not serve. Trickster. Yep. 
don't let people tell you who they think you are. Only you know who you are. You know, and sometimes it's like, I feel like you guys are self-assured enough to know that. But I feel like sometimes when we're on this path for a while, sometimes we forget that. I feel like people are gonna try to tell you who they think you are, but you're not that. And I'm not saying you're gonna have haters. There's gonna be a handful of haters, you know? It, 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 when you are truly living your most authentic life, people get jealous because you are truly happy. You are truly doing what you wanna do. So people envy that, okay? I feel like one more card. I got one more card for you. Yep, spirit of air. Communication, mental space. What they're telling me is this. Don't explain yourself if you don't want to. However, you have the capability, your throat chakra is open. You have the ability to really shut some bitch up, <laughs> okay? So just, just remember that. But I'm really feeling good. I'm really feeling good for you guys. I don't know what this hair is doing. It's driving me nuts. I don't even know what it is. This guy. My hair is straight, but only that piece dries curly. I don't know. Anyways. Um, you guys are really manifesting exactly what you want. And spirit is it, spirit's showing me financial gain, but it, there's so much more to this. I really feel like, because I relate to y'all. I, I do. If spirit says do it, I do it because I know it's for my benefit. I feel like you guys are the same. A lot of awakening is happening for you. This new cycle, this fresh cycle that I feel like it's going to be a long time abundance for you. Here's this rune. shadows here so we have I'm sorry if I pronounce these wrong Wunjo, joy happiness communal fulfillment a rune of manifestation avoid all forms of negativity isolation and then we have Reiho movement rhythm a journey or adventure whether physical or spiritual in, um, initiative be aware of stasis and stagnation what did I say you see, this is why I use these rooms and these abundance rings because they literally just, they're just so awesome. <laughs> so yeah, my stomach just growled. I hope you didn't hear that, but you guys are good. You guys are set. You guys have truly put in the work and spirit is rewarding that. I feel like it takes a very special type of person to do that. That's how I know most of y'all watching are star seeds, light workers because it takes a very determined soul to get to this point. I know because I've been there. Congratulations. No, and look, look at the bottom of the deck, the fucking sun, are you serious? Okay, I was, as I was about to say that, I was about to say, no, you truly deserve, and it was one, two, three, four on the little timer. <sighs> Things are starting for y'all. Things are starting for y'all, my goodness. Ah! I'm so excited for you guys, should be really excited. Oh, I love this. Okay, let's get some final messages here. I could ramble on and on about this. What do you have for pile number three, Spirit? What do you have for pile number three? Yeah. Oh, okay, all right, all right. We got a lot. First card that jumped out here was the Seven of Swords. So, let me get all the cards here. We have, wow, they fucking pooped out a lot of cards. We have, we have <coughs> sorry, <laughs> we have the Nine of Cups, we have the fucking Sun, again, we have the Eight of Cups, we have the Five of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. So what this is showing me, y'all, energy that was stolen from you is returning and it's because you walked away from hardships there's something you walked away from that was like pivotal if you that is a pivotal moment in your life and know that there's tons of lessons coming you have the energy of the queen of cups and the queen of pentacles financial and emotional stability and this knight of pentacles this is an opportunity you've been really waiting for a long time finally showing up to you and it is exactly what you want and I looked at the timer again, 1414. Final, final messages. Final, final messages. Okay, okay. What we got here? 
got we got the, the king of pentacles so you got the king and the queen tons of financial support tons of 3e earth realm physical success we have the ace of cups and your cup overfloweth and the knight of swords yeah you guys there's either gonna there's a lot of court cards here so there might be people helping you along this journey or this could represent the supporters or your soul tribe entering your life but really this is showing you like your financial your 3d material materialistic aspect of your life good i mean of course you're gonna struggle sometimes but you're, you're it's not gonna be detrimental struggle for you guys you guys are good may your cup overflow spirit is so your spirit guides and other spirits are so proud of you you are really gonna get what you deserve in the best way possible Pile number three, I am so excited for you. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out my Patreon and my Instagram link down below. And don't forget to click like and subscribe to join our tribe. I'm so excited for you guys and I'm sending many blessings your way. Take care.